In this video, we are going to solve a system of linear equations using Gauss Jordan elimination method. Now, in this video, we are going to find the unknown variables x, y, and z. So let's try this together. Now, the first thing we are going to do is to represent this set of linear equations in the form of argumented matrix. So inside of the matrix, we have the coefficients of the unknown variables x, y, z. So equation 1 goes for row 1, equation 2 for row 2, and then equation 3 also for row 3. So we have 2, negative 3, 5, 3, 2, negative 4, 1, 1, negative 2. And then we separate the constants on the right hand side of the equal to sign with a vertical bar. So we have 11, negative 5, negative 3. Now the next thing we are going to do is to transform this argumented matrix by applying elementary row operations to convert that to the reduced row echelon form such that these elements go to zero and the elements in the leading diagonal go to one. So our aim is to make sure that the elements in blue go to zero and the elements in red go to one. And we do that by applying the elementary row operations to this augmented matrix. So that's exactly what we are going to do. Now let's do that together. Now focusing on this value, we want to make this value go to zero. Now the best thing to do is to multiply row 3 by 3 and then subtract that from row 2. So we are going to perform the operation on row 2 and the operation is we multiply row 3 by 3 and then subtract that from row 2. So that is row 2 minus 3 row 3. So the element in row 1 and row 3 remains the same. So we have 2, negative 3, 5, 11, 1, 1, negative 2, negative 3. Now let's perform the operation on row 2. So for row 2, we have 3 minus 3 times 1 and then 3 minus 3 times 1 is equal to 0. So we have 0 here. For the next set of values, we have 2 minus 3 times 1 and that is equal to negative 1. Also we have negative 1 here and then for this set of values we have negative 4 minus 3 times negative 2. Now negative 3 times negative 2 becomes plus 6 and then negative 4 plus 6 is 2. And then we have negative 5 minus 3 times negative 3 negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 and then negative 5 plus 9 is 4 now we've succeeded in making this value go to 0 now let's focus on this now you realize that we have a 1 here and a 2 here so we are going to multiply row 3 by 2 and then we subtract that from row 1 so we perform the operation on row 3 and the operation is row 1 minus 2 row 3. So elements in row 1 and 2 remains the same. Now let's perform the operation on row 3. So we have row 1, which is 
2 minus 2 times rho 3 and 2 minus 2 is 0 so we have 0 here and then negative 3 minus 2 times 1 that is equal to negative 5 and then we have 5 minus 2 times negative 2 and that becomes 5 plus 4 which is equal to 9 so we have 9 here and then 11 minus 2 times negative 3 now negative 2 times negative 3 is 6 so 11 plus 6 is 17 now let's focus on this value how do we make this value go to 0 now we have negative 1 here we have negative 5 here so let's multiply row 2 by negative 5 so that this value becomes negative 1 times negative 5 is 5 and then we add that to row 3 so we perform the operation on row 3 and the operation is negative 5 times row 2 plus row 3 So elements in row 2 and row 1 remains unchanged. So we have 2, negative 3, 5, zero, negative 1, 2, 4. And then for row 3, we have negative 5 times row 2. So negative 5 times 0 plus row 3 and that is equal to 0 so we have 0 here and then negative 5 times negative 1 plus negative 5 now negative 5 times negative 1 is 5 and then 5 plus negative 5 is 0 so we also have 0 here and then negative 5 times 2 plus 9 is negative 1 and then negative 5 times 4 plus 17 that is equal to negative 20 plus 17 and that is equal to negative 3 So we have this set of values to be equal to zero. Now let's focus on these sets of values. Now the first one we are going to tackle is five. Now we have five here, we have negative one here. So let's multiply row three by five and then we add that to row one. Now if we multiply row three by five, we have this to be negative 5 and then we add negative 5 to this and then this value goes to 0. So we perform the operation on row 1 and the operation is 5 times row 3 plus row 1. So let's do that. So elements in row 2 and row 3 remains the same and then we make changes to row 1 so 5 times 0 is 0 and then plus 2 is 2 5 times 0 is 0 plus negative 3 is still negative 3 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 plus 5 is 0 
and then 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 plus 11 is negative 4. So we have negative 4 here. Now let's move on as we focus on this value. Now we have a 2 here. We have negative 1 here. We want to make this value go to 0. So we are going to perform the operation on row 2. What we are going to do is we are going to multiply row 3 by 2 so that this becomes negative 2 and then we add that to row 2 and this becomes 0. So the operation is 2 times row 3 plus row 2. So elements in row 1 and row 3 remains the same. Two times zero is zero plus zero is also zero. Two times zero is zero plus negative one is negative one. Two times negative one is negative two plus two is zero. Two times negative three is negative six plus four is negative two. Now we are left with this value. Let's make this value go to zero. So we perform the operation on row one. And we have negative three here. We have negative one. So let's multiply row two by negative three so that this value becomes three. And then we add that to this value so that this goes to zero. So the operation is negative 3 times row 2 plus row 1. So we have negative 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2 negative 3 times negative 1 is 3 plus negative 3 is 0 negative 3 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is still 0 negative 3 times negative 2 is 6 6 plus negative 4 is 2 now at this point we've been able to make these values go to zero we are left with the element in the leading diagonal and we need to make sure that these elements go to one so we have two zero zero two zero negative one zero negative two zero zero negative one negative 3 so at this point we are going to perform the row operation on each of the rows because we want to make all these values go to 1 so for row 1 we are going to multiply row 1 by half for row 2 we are going to multiply that by negative 1 and then row 3 we are going to multiply that also by negative 1 so half times 2 is 1 half times 0 is 0 half times 0 is 0 half times 2 is 1 0 times negative 1 is 0 Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. 0 times negative 1 is 0. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Now to row 3. 0 times negative 1 is 0. 0 times negative 1 is 0. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is also 
3. So at this point, we have this to be the x values, y values, and then z values. So by observation, you realize that z is equal to 3. y is equal to 2 and then x is equal to 1 so these are the values of x y and z